Hi, welcome to the 10 Minute Parent. Uh, my name is Don Bolt, and for the next uh, about 10 minutes, so I'm going to take some time to introduce you to something uh, that I believe will be helpful to you uh, in raising your children and being effective as a parent uh, in, in raising your children in a way that's pleasing to God. Uh, today we're going to talk about the wise, the fool, the righteous, and the wicked. All right, and what it is it's it's a Bible study that I'm going to encourage you to do uh, with your children. Uh, it's all built on uh, the book of Proverbs uh, in the Old Testament of your Bible. It's uh, you, know, you have Psalms, Proverbs. You know, it's right there in the in the, in the middle there. And um, and what I'm going to encourage you to do is do something that I did with my children, and frankly, with a lot of groups that I've worked with uh, since then, because it was such an effective study at getting beyond right and wrong. I don't know if you've noticed this, if you have children that are about 8 or 10 years old, or maybe that's happening at younger ages now, but you get to the stage where you're correcting them and telling them what's right, and they go, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Okay, and you know what? You know why they're saying that? Because they do know. They pretty much memorized what you're saying is right and wrong by that age. And, uh, and so... So is the conversation over? We have nothing more to teach them? Well, we do have something, and it's a conversation that you begin that lasts for a lifetime, which is, yeah, but what's wise? Okay, but wait a minute, is that foolish to do that? Um, you know, and to go beyond understandings of simple right and wrong and get deeper into issues of righteousness and get deeper into understanding of what wickedness really is. And so uh, this Bible study that I'm going to just uh, explain to you very briefly and then send you on your way to do it with your children is to take just a, a notebook, you know, and frankly, uh, this is this is a fancy one. Uh, you know, you can do it with simpler ones. Uh, and basically, all you're going to do is this: is that you're going to break out that notebook into sections: the wise and some paper, the fool with some paper, the righteous and then some paper, and then the wicked. All right. And what you're going to do is take your family, and this can be done with uh, various different ages. And what I used to do is assign one word to each of the kids. So any word that has the word fool in it, I want you to pick it up. Any word that has wise or wisdom in it, I want you to pick up on it. I want you to point it out to us as we read the book of Proverbs. And then, again, if you have more children, righteous, wicked, you know, those kinds of things. If you have large families, I have a friend with has 12 children, uh, I'm guessing that you'd have to come with a whole bunch of different uh, uh, qualities and Proverbs to study together. But uh, we, we did, you know, either two, just the wise and the fool, or the wise, the fool, the righteous, and the wicked, four of them. And, uh, and we would work our way through. And what you would do is work your way through and just read each chapter and then write down the reference, you know, what, what chapter and verse, and what did you learn from that, okay? Allow the children to put these things into their own words. What did they learn from that particular thing? And eventually what you start to get is a little character profile of these different people. So we see that the wise, um, it says that the wise, Proverbs teach wisdom so that we can discern and understand so that we can be teachable uh, about behaving wisely, okay? Uh, Proverbs gives good judgment to people who are naive, okay? The wise person listens and gets smarter, okay? We look over here, we start to see the fool. The fool uh, finds wisdom and instruction uncomfortable and undes un undesirable. Okay, they hate knowledge, and you know, and so you start to get these, these character profiles of these different uh, characters that are in the book of Proverbs. And, uh, and what this gives you the opportunity to do is to then discuss, well, is that wise? Is that foolish? Well, wait a minute. The person who did that, were they wise? You know, and to begin to go a little bit deeper into the truth of God, to understand that uh, you know, foolishness may not be immediately sin, but it leads there. Uh, wisdom may not necessarily be the ultimate in righteousness, but it leads there. You know, that to understand that there are ways, there are paths to walk. Uh, in this book of Proverbs, is just a very, very helpful uh, you know, a book, you know, for us to teach us this. I encourage you as a parent to be reading the book of Proverbs on a regular basis, maybe a chapter uh, a day, you know, uh, each each month, uh, to get you really familiar with it so that you can give guidance to your children. But this is it's an extremely valuable uh, set of, of, of things to learn together. Uh, you'll find that it's very, very helpful to them in their practical circumstances of their daily life. Proverbs is a very, very practical book. Uh, a lot, it's spiritual, but it's also practical. It gives a lot of practical advice about how to deal with different kinds of situations in life, different kinds of people. And so with that, I'm going to say God bless you. Thank you again for joining us here at the 10-Minute Parent, and we'll see you again next time.